what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so the legacy of chucky panel has come and gone at comic-con at home we saw the official trailer for the chucky tv series it dropped actually a few minutes before the panel was released on its youtube channel and there was a featurette of all the cast members involved and we got to see a lot of new scenes that weren't even in the trailer itself and devin sawa actually did confirm who he's going to be playing in the tv series along with some other character named logan that had got announced previously so just like i have been saying or kind of speculating on Devin Sawa seems like he will indeed be playing a set of twins in this show he said during the uh 14 minute feature that's on the the comic-con youtube channel I actually leave a link to it down in the comment section or the description of this video I mean he said himself he'll be playing characters Lucas and Logan Weber Lucas is presumably in this scene and this is Jake's father now Logan Weber is going to be per is going to be portrayed by Sawa as well. Notice the beard here, but Logan does not have a beard, and he's going to be married to Lexa Doig's character, Aunt Bree, Jake's uncle. So this character here, played by Devin Sawa once again, Logan Weber, is Jake's uncle. So Devin Sawa will be playing one set of twins that we can expect to see in the Chucky TV series. The reason I'm saying one set of twins we can expect to see is because I'm still holding out hope that along with Glenn, Glinda will be back somehow but they're fraternal twins but still that's another set of twins that i know many of us are hoping to see during this tv series there's a lot of cool shots and sequences from this show highlighted in this trailer we saw chucky and chucky and jake at school especially a lot of chucky going around taking out these people that are bullying jake the other thing that's exciting about this is how it basically is establishing that this tv series is set well, I, I think a lot of us presume this. This TV series is going to be set around the Halloween season. So what I think and what I hope will happen is that each individual episode is leading up to Halloween night. And Halloween night will take place, of course, on episode eight, the last episode of this season, presumably. Uh, because what could happen is they could always renew and just have an additional set of episodes added to the first season. But I'm, I'm pretty certain that what, what will happen is we'll have only eight episodes for the first season. And I, what I hope to see is that the TV series builds up and up and up to Halloween night, which will be the season finale. So that's another cool, interesting tidbit. We did get to see the character Miss Jolly again holding a conversation with Jake, asking him if he's into um, vintage and i think he responded with retro something like that we see jake at home in his room we see a lot of cool shots of chucky and i see what they're talking about as far as like wanting to take it back to the roots of child's play 2 while this doll doesn't necessarily closely resemble exactly what the child's play do Ch child's play 2 doll look like in my opinion i appreciate the effort this doll does look decent enough it looks better than the cult of chucky doll honestly it looks better than the cult of chucky doll and the curse of chucky doll i'll just be honest there on that end so a lot of cool shots that were shown we saw jake we saw all of these young characters that he's going to be with we did get to learn a lot other a lot of other stuff about jake and how he's going to have a crush on one of his male best friends that he goes to school with it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out on tv hopefully this friend of jake does not turn his turn his back on him if he responds a little negative at first I, I just hope that what happens is that negative response leads to him understanding that Jake is who he is. He can just simply tell Jake he's not interested, but Jake and him can still hopefully be friends. I don't know if any of you have ever been in that position as a guy where another guy has had a crush on you. I haven't been in that position, but at the end of the day, you know, if you have a guy friend, just going off on a tangent here, just sidebar conversation. If you have a guy friend that you're close with and that guy friend is going to come out to you not only tell you that he is gay but he has a crush on you i think the best thing you could do in that scenario is just hear him out if you're if, of course if you're not gay you can tell him you're not interested don't don't of course be that guy that has to make this a bigger deal than what it is it, it's not something that should result in you beating up anyone or anything like that it's it's not that serious bro it's, it's literally just someone telling you they have a crush on you you don't like the guy just tell him that so i hope that's what happens here with jake and his friend we did also get to see jake and chucky on stage at this presumed talent show again and chucky yes is going to be doing what we had thought he's going to be heckling the crowd he's going to be going off and probably exposing a lot of things about certain people maybe jake's aunt to be specific 
uh, maybe Jake's uncle to be even more specific, maybe a lot of these bullies in Jake's school. He's going to be exposing a lot of the things that I guess these people are hiding when they're wanting to come for Jake. He's going to be like, well, look, you want to come for this guy. Let's talk about some of the stuff that you're doing wrong that actually is wrong. <laughs> so we see Jake in school getting bullied at times during the trailer, too, with uh, his cousin and one of the other girl characters. I'm forgetting her name. But this show looks like it's going to be very promising. It does look like it's going to be very action packed. The other thing I want to touch on going back to Devin Sawa, the name of the initial episode is Death by Misadventure. This trailer is not just showing things that are related to the first episode. It is undoubtedly going to be showing it's undoubtedly showing things that we're going to be getting over the course of the other episodes after the first episode Death by Misadventure. Now, the shot that you see there of Logan standing with his spouse, uh, Aunt Bree who again is played by Devin Sawa, uh, Uncle Logan. Devin Sawa is playing Jake's dad and his uncle. First episode again is titled Death by Misadventure. Jake has recently lost his mother and they're struggling with that in his house, him and his father alike. Death by Misadventure, title of the first episode. In the teaser, we do see Jake's dad in the basement with Chucky. There's already been a shot from the teaser of Jake walking into the basement. It looks like Jake's dad goes down into the basement and it's lining up with that other image that was released during the other teaser during the Pride of Chucky marathon of Jake being shown walking in what I'm assuming is that same basement. Title of the episode, again, Death by Misadventure. Jake's dad is probably going to die. Devin Sawa, Jake's dad's character, as Jake's dad, he is going to die in the first episode. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 100% certain I'm not. But this will lead to, of course, Jake then moving in with his aunt and uncle, which would explain why he's in a different house and his aunt and uncle are kind of looking up at him, it looks like, when they turn to that shot of them looking up at Jake as he's making some claims. And it looks like Chucky is doing a lot of the carnage in someone else's house that's not Jake's house because Jake will end up moving in with his aunt and uncle after his dad dies, unfortunately, at the end of the pilot episode. But let me know what you guys thought about the trailer down in the comment section below. Did you look at the uh, CinemaCon fe featurette panel video that came out? If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.